Hello everyone, my name is Dan the Tutor. Now we are going to be looking at the fourth of four DC Circuit problems. This will be the hardest of the four. Of course, it is the final boss of DC Circuits. And the circuit is going to look like this. I've got two resistors here. A resistor going down at this triangular shape. And then I've got another resistor over here. This time we will be going back to numbers, thank God. We have 12 volts as the voltage source. This resistor is going to be 8 ohms, this resistor 4 ohms, this resistor 6 ohms, and this resistor 2 ohms. And as always, I want to find everything. I want to find all the currents, voltages, and powers across all four resistors this time. As always, the strategy here is to first combine your resistors to get to a single resistor. Which then begs the question, which resistors should I combine first? To do that, I'm going to help you by labeling what each resistor is. These two resistors in the top right are in series, and that's because they are next to each other in the sense that if you're a car driving down that road, there's only one road you can go down. This 6 ohm resistor here is in parallel with the two in series. And the reason for that is, if you're a car and you make it to this point right here, you would say that, hey, I'm going into a fork in the road, so that six ohm resistor is in parallel with the two in series. And then finally, this last resistor here is going to be in series again with the rest of these resistors, but not until you combine them first. And so the order here matters. The first ones we need to combine is the series resistors here, then the parallel there, then the series there. And obviously I got that pretty quickly, but believe me, there's years of practice that go into doing this, and you will get better at it too the more problems you look at. So the order matters. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add these two resistors in series. Since they're in series, it's really easy. You would just say R total equals R1 plus R2, so 8 plus 4. That's going to be 12 ohms. That's a 12 ohm resistor right there, essentially. And so now I'm going to redraw the circuit. So we have this resistor here, which is 12 ohms. The resistor going at the diagonal there, which is 6 ohms. And the resistor at the bottom, which is 2 ohms. By the way, that resistor along the diagonal confuses a lot of students. And I think for obvious reasons. Why is it at a diagonal? Well, if you want to, you can actually draw it like this and you will not get any points off you can actually just draw it like this this is perfectly legal and the reason why it's perfectly legal is because you didn't change the circuit in other words these two are in parallel and these two are in parallel which means the math will be exactly the same so whenever you see a resistor at a diagonal it just means they're trying to confuse you at some point in the problem i would probably draw it straight again because it just makes our lives easier now, like I said, we're going to combine these two resistors in parallel, which means we know what we're going to do because 1 over R total equals 1 over R1, which is 6, plus 1 over R2, which is 12. It's the reciprocal logic. And now if I want to combine these, again, I need a common denominator, which will be 2 over 2 to get me to 12. So that's going to equal 2 over 12 plus 1 over 12. That adds up to make 3 over 12 which is one fourth, but don't forget that is one over R total. We now need to take the reciprocal of this, which just means flip it. So R total is gonna equal four over one, which is just four ohms. So now I draw my circuit again. And this time I now only have two resistors left. It's looking pretty good. This is a four ohm resistor. This is a two ohm resistor. This is still a 12 volt battery. And now if I want to add these, I just add them in series, because they are in series. R total equals 2 plus 4, which equals 6 ohms. And there we go. I can now just draw a single resistor circuit with a 6 ohm resistor there, 12 volt battery here. I now find the total current in the circuit using Ohm's law. V equals I times R. 12 equals I times 6. That means the current I is going to equal 12 divided by 6, which is 2 amps. Now keep in mind, this is not the current everywhere. This is just the current coming out of the battery. 
and that's an important distinction to make for when I go back to the original circuit, which I'll even draw with the diagonal since it doesn't matter. So what we're saying is the current right here is two amps, but we're very quickly gonna lose that because we have parallel here. And as soon as we get to parallel, it's gonna split between the two branches. So I'm gonna label my resistors to make it easier for me. Let's call this one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. And which voltage and current should we find first? Honestly, it really doesn't matter. You can pretty much choose any one you want. I like to go in order, so I'm gonna start with one and, and two here. So if I wanna find voltage and resistance and current one, I would say V1 equals I1 times R1. The voltage across resistor one, even though it's in parallel, it's not going to be 12 volts, actually because it's in kind of like series twice, like it's in series with the four ohm and then it's in series again with the two ohm. We definitely don't know the voltage. We also don't know the current because the current again splits down two paths, which add up to two, but we don't know it yet. So we pretty much get stuck immediately with choosing resistor one. Resistor two is gonna have a very similar problem. We don't know anything. Let's try resistor three now. V3 equals I3 times R3. Again, we don't know the voltage. We're closer with, with this one actually, because the voltage here is 12 volts. I would love to say that 12 volts is going through because it's in parallel. But the fact that that two ohm at the bottom is in series means that it's not 12 volts anymore. And really the reason why is, let's, let's label all of our voltages. The voltage here in blue, anywhere touching blue, is 12 volts. The voltage anywhere touching green is zero volts. The voltage anywhere touching red is currently unknown. And until we find that voltage, we really can't find uh, the eight ohm, four ohm, or six ohm resistor. So it looks like one, two, and three didn't work. I really hope four works or else we just quit because we can't do anything. Don't worry, four will work. And the reason why is because if we say V4 equals I4 times R4, we don't know the voltage, but we actually do know the current. And the reason why is because, yes, these two amps right here are gonna be split between these two paths, but once they join up again, it's gonna be two amps again for the rest of the circuit. So in other words, for the two ohm resistor, it is two amps, and that's because it's in series with the battery, which is the most important thing. So V4, which I'm solving for, equals two amps times resistance, which is two ohms. V4 equals four volts. This is great because that means I actually know the voltage right here too. That voltage is four volts. I wanna be very clear, it's not just four volts because the answer was four. It's because this voltage is zero and this voltage is four volts higher than zero. What does that mean? I'm saying if let's say hypothetically this was 10 volts instead, this would be 14 volts, just so you know, because it's four volts higher, it's a voltage difference. But since it was just zero, because it was coming out of the negative terminal of the battery, that's all good. So now that we have V4 and we have that voltage, we can now really start rolling here, because that means I now know voltage three. Voltage three is equal to 12 minus four. Wait, where'd that come from? Well, because the voltage at three is the 12 volts here minus the four volts at the bottom. That's the voltage difference. So V3 is going to be eight volts. There's one of our answers. Let me just circle them as I, as I get there. We have current four is two amps. We have voltage four is four volts. We have voltage three is eight volts. And yes, you pretty much have to solve the question in this order. I mean, there is more than one way to solve a circuit problem, but this is certainly the best, in my opinion. And now if we want to find the current through R3, the six ohm resistor, I would say V3 equals I3 times R3. So eight volts equals the current, which I'm solving for, times six ohms. Eight divided by six is I3, and that's going to be... 1.33 amps is I3. Great, we have that current. Now that we know the current through I3, we now know the current through I1 and 2. And this is kind of getting cluttered, so let me just redraw the circuit one more time. So what I'm saying is since this is two amps at the top, it's 1.33 amps through that branch. That means the current through the remaining branch must be 
2 minus 1.33 because they have to add up to 2, the total. And that's going to be 0.67. So there is 0.67 amps going through the 8 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor. And since those are both in series with each other, that means they share the same current. That means I1 equals I2 equals 0.67 amps. Both of those currents are 0.67. Now that I have the current, I can now plug that in to find the voltage for both of those using V1 equals I1 times R1. Voltage 1 is what I'm solving for here. Current 1 is 0.67. R1 is the 8 ohm resistor. I plug this in my calculator and I'll get a voltage of 5.33 amps. V2 then is just going to be almost the exact same thing. It's going to be the current, which is again 0.67 times the 4 ohm resistor. And that voltage V2 is going to be 2.67 volts. I don't know why I put amps a second ago. That's volts. Sorry about that. And so there we go. We have all of our voltages and currents for this problem. Only one thing we still need to do now, and that is to find the power across all four resistors. So here I'm going to quick rewrite everything we said. So V1 was 5.33, current 1 was 0.67, V2 was 2.67, I2 was 0.67, V3 was 8, and I3 was 1.33. And V4 was 4, and I4 was 2. And now they have all these numbers, I just multiply V times I, and that will get me the power for all four of them. So power 1 is 5.33 times 0.67. That's going to be 3.56 watts. Power 2, 2.67 times 0.67. That will be 1.78 watts. Power 3 is going to be 8 times 1.33, which is 10.67 watts. And power 4 is the only easy one, 4 volts times 2 amps, 8 watts. Yay, there we go. And there's all of our powers. By the way, if you add all of them up, they will equal 24 watts. The reason I know that immediately is because if I just look at the battery, which was 12 volts, and had two amps going through it, then the total power would be 12 times two, which is 24 watts. And there we go, we found everything for the circuit. This was the hardest one, but an excellent problem, I think. And with that, I think you are now close to becoming a DC circuit master, or at least you have the tools now to become a DC circuit master. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care and bye-bye.